I've been doing some figuring. Um, and I've I've been living a little differently these last this last week. I find that honest thoughts and honest words function differently. I haven't been saying everything on my mind. It's been kind of awkward around the house. I'm asking two of the people to move out so that there will be three people here instead of five. It's painful to do that, but life is pain sometimes. Live life in a clouded haze and everything just kind of floats and then it falls apart. So I decided to take the bull by the horn, throw him to the ground, and then what, stab him with a, a sword? Is that what they do in bullfighting? I sliced up my finger. Can you see that? Actually, I didn't slice it. I dripped hot plastic on it at the bar the other night, and it just melted the skin. And I woke up. I, I, I was like, it hurt like hell. It was like white. The skin had turned white, except for that top part. The skin totally melted off. And then when I got home, I went to bed. I was drunk. Got up the next day, and it was like getting infected up top. And the white skin was all covered, so I took the nail clippers and, like, I ran it underwater and, like, clipped off the skin and then rinsed it with soap. Many times I've been cleaning it. I'm thinking about going to buy some Neosporin today and putting it on. That stuff doesn't happen when I'm high. I don't, I don't cut myself. I don't hurt myself. It happens when I'm drinking. <sighs> Which kind of sucks. Okay, so, so... I'm going to explain this. I, f I feel like if you have thoughts, when I think about things, if I think that something is happening or if, if I have a th an honest thought about this will work, it works. If I, trust, if I have the thought and trust the thought it, and, and then move on to another concept, the thought plays out as if I've painted it on reality. If I speak it, it dissolves it. but it empowers the people that hear me speak. But my own reality suffers. So what I've been doing for a year is depleting myself to speak the truth, to help people, to let them listen to me. I've been martyring myself. I've been isolating myself, inflating my ego, and I would have died had I continued, but I came to a realization that the balance is not about talking about the balance. It's about balancing it out by inflating and deflating your ego, my ego, by saying everything in the world is fucked. It is fucked up. But also saying everything in the world is amazing and it works. But you can't forget that it is fucked, that we are fucking lost and scared and worthless, useless. We don't do anything. We just exist as these pieces of meat that are fucking things up. Me, particularly. I'm a fucking mess. And I'm sorry for what I've put you through. I will deflate the ego now. I'm not going to sit here for the rest of my life and tell everyone how amazing everything is make other people, it's like other people gain this dependency to me when I do that. They, they sit around and like, like Dominic, he and I, he like got this job, like we were talking about, and I kept saying, you can do anything, you have the job. I kept saying it, like I was building, and then I went home, I was building his ego by de depleting my own ego. And then I went back to Ohio for two weeks, when I came back, he lost the job. And I realized, what it's like I got the job. Through, through force of personality. I, I exhausted myself so that another person could benefit. And that's what I have kept doing. And I am finished with that now. I'm back to being selfish and 
being an animal and not a conscious creator. I'm flowing with it. I'm letting I'm going to let my I'm letting myself be pushed around rather than trying to steer it all because cuz I'm fucking fed up with it. I'm fed up with you people that blast negativity at me. See, shit like spills out of my cup when, I'm, when I act like this, but get your own fucking life. This is fine. I may be done with YouTube. I don't know if I'm done with YouTube or if I'm just done exploring myself publicly. The only way that it can work is if everyone does it. And if I keep doing it, everyone won't do it. Because there's an equal and opposite reaction to everything that exists. If I push and give, your reaction will be to, to step back and listen and hold back. But if I pull back and I don't speak and I, and I just think and listen, your reaction will be to come forward and to speak and to give and feel that and I'm totally aware of that now and I have this amazing control of what's happening I know when to release the force and empower the other and when to hold it in and build my own power it's the darkness it's like Anakin Skywalker Sometimes, sometimes I think that, that there's it's all it's all happening to us that it's it's all planned out and that we're just pawns in this game because the words I speak I don't fucking think about these words they just come out I don't think about any of this shit I didn't think about the internet I didn't think about internet video I don't think about YouTube I didn't think about Miles coming to town I didn't think about having brothers or family or living in Ohio or being white or any of it any of it I don't I didn't even think about a job until and then it appears and and. It's like it's just all happening to me. And then sometimes I feel like I have a little bit of control. Like, I can speak a word. And it's a word that I wouldn't have spoke a year ago, but I speak it now. Do you feel the tension? There's no, there's no questions. I feel tension. Do you feel my tension? Can you feel my tension? Maybe I'm just tense because I'm speaking. And I'm fully aware that this isn't the way to go. And that yet somehow it's the only way to go. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. because it'll help you but not me so I'm stepped back and healing <laughs> and enjoying and making fun of other people and laughing at other people's misfortune and seeing that other people are fucked up and that they need to get their shit together or get out of my life because I'm not their father. I'm not here to help anyone. I'm here to help myself. By surrounding myself with active people that are intelligent, that want to help, I'm not your fucking father. So I'm venting all of this now. That's okay. It's a true addiction, speaking. It's become an addiction for me, which is why I'm not doing it anymore. 
peace. There will be world peace. One day.